Good morning, you've been. Morning, Great to have you on the, on the show. So, tell us a little bit about this dish, first of all. Um, cooking? Seared tuna yep. with a few spices around it. Then we have a salad of apples, radish, and some cresses, and an avocado puree. So, it's quite we'll a light the, dish. Quite a light dish. We'll get yep. on to the cresses in a minute. This is lion caught tuna. Lion caught tuna, yeah. Lion yep. caught tuna, this one. Sushi gravy, which is some of the best ones yep. the, su the tuna can get. Okay. Uh, in right. here, we have Black peppercorns, white peppercorns, cloves, ground ginger, and nutmeg. Yep. So we're just going to blend all these together for okay. the, the actual crust to go around the tuna. So this is just what equal quantities of each. In equal there? quantities of each, and we'll just yep. grate in some of the nutmeg in. We're just going to blend this through to. It's like a, It's more aromatic yeah. than spicy. It's not as spicy as John's, right. but it's uh, it's more aromatic. Let's this up in a little sort of coffee grinder. Thing. A coffee grinder. <laughs> Bit noisy. It's flash. We've got all the gear here, mate. We've got yeah. all the gear here. Boys, here go. toys. So, so, tell us what it's like. I mean, we saw you on, obviously, the Great British Menu and doing the fish course. What's it like working with the kitchen full of... Because who else was in the kitchen as well? It must be Ego City, innit? I always get asked that question, was there loads of ego? But there wasn't. Everyone was quite genuine. We all wanted to do well. Yeah. And other people were just worried about the food more than anything else than the, the egos. So, we're just going to seal the tuna off in a nice warm pan. Not too hot, so we don't burn any of the spices. Right. Now, you've worked with some amazing chefs in your career. So, some, I have worked with some good chefs. I mean, yeah. was Marco Pierre White? Marco Pierre White, Michel Roux at the Gavroche, yeah. um, and Chris Galvin at Windows. Who we've uh, had on the show. We have indeed, ago, yes. Yeah. Um, I've been quite lucky really to work with these people. I think yeah. uh, if you're quite willing to dedicate your time to work with these people, yeah. you reach the benefits. And now, obviously, we're opening our debts well, open our debts on Tuesday in Primrose Hill. So yeah. um, you, you mentioned the restaurant. You opened that what this week, I believe. It's four days old. <laughs> so and you're here. I'm here. How do I find time to come here? I don't know. Are you up but, for lunch? We're open for lunch, oh, I'll, be you I'll be straight back, so <laughs> the sooner I get the tuna done, right. the better. So once the tuna's sealed all the way around, we're going to keep it very rare in the middle, because yeah. the tuna is such a great, great piece of tuna. We're going to keep it nice and raw yeah. to keep all the flavours. So we're just going to wrap it, one just to keep it, keep its shape and to firm up in the fridge, so we can, when we come to slice it after, we have some nice slices of the tuna. So how long will you keep it in the fridge for? About an hour or so, that's, that's it, yeah, just firm you don't want the, you want the spices to be nice, you know, fresh and alive. Good. Smells so, delicious. Right, well, that's your tuna. The tuna's in. Next. That's the one. We're going to do an avocado puree, which is very similar to a guacamole. That's, yeah. the, that's the idea behind it. But we're going to purify it. So it's the same again. Fresh avocados. And into the dresser we have some limes and some Tabasco. You could put coriander if you wanted to, but I'm going to just go with avocados. Lime now, to ripen up an avocado. Right, that avocado. Juice. I, a banana in it. Banana. Put a banana in a bag with two avocados, and your 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 avocados go right because the enzymes are banana. If you haven't got a banana, what have you haven't got? A you just leave them out. <laughs> I just leave them out. Put on the windowsill. <laughs> well, uh, my mother used to put them in newspaper. Stick them on a windowsill. Uh, we used to. Yeah. We don't have a microwave in the kitchen, but people say leave it on top of a microwave. Is that true? I have no idea. I don't have a microwave. Okay. What are you trying to say about that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I know you catch me. I know you. It does have a microwave. Yeah, yeah. It, it have a microwave. has a microwave. He has yeah. six of them all lined up there. I've seen them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, I do put basil in my He's busy there. <laughs> He's busy there. You must Not have a microwave. Chips. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>